Hi, I'm James from Bespoke Airsoft, and welcome back to Bringing It Home. And in this episode, we're looking at a funky little tiny pistol, which is the WE Colt 25. Yes, the WE Colt 25, and this is a super compact pistol, and just like other compact pistols that I've dealt with before, like the VFC Glock 42, 43, whatever it's called, nice little cardboard box here, a little bit different compared to what WE normally put out, but I think when they're doing something like as niche as this, they do put a little bit more suave on the box. Flipping it open, we've got a small little manual here which tells you the ins and outs of the pistol, pardon me. Inside the box, we've got a gas magazine, We've got the pistol itself, and then we've got this little function here, this little piece of plastic which enables us to dry fire the pistol. So as nice as this box is, let's get it out of the way. Um, so the boxes go, that's very, very high up there. So we've got the Colt 25. This thing is tiny. And although this isn't a brand new product from WE, uh, I most recently saw this on Airsoft Mike's channel, I believe. Uh, if you don't watch Airsoft Mike already, go and find him on YouTube. He does a pretty cracking job. He's very entertaining to watch. And uh, I see you, brother. I saw you uh, reviewing or, or look, overlooking this pistol. And uh, as soon as I knew we was having a W delivery in and we had these on the delivery, I thought, I've got to, I've got to have a shoot at that pistol. This thing is quite possibly the smallest gas blowback pistol I've ever touched or used. Uh, I had a PPK back in the day, which was like a China one, but it was absolutely useless. It was horrible. Um, so this is very, very cool. And the cutest thing about this pistol is the magazine. Look how small that is. It's tiny. And you look at it and you're like, ah, oh. um, <laughs> this thing is absolutely insane how, how small that is. I mean, you could carry spares in just about anywhere it would fit anything. So let's set that to one side. I'll tell you what we'll do, we'll have a look at this little plastic piece. Because although I've fired it on the chrono and the range test, I think this goes in the side, like so, so we can dry fire this thing. So this is the WE Colt 25, this being the silver model. And one of the first things that struck me weird about this thing when I first picked it up and handled it was, you know, with a normal gas blowback pistol, you can cut the slide, the hammer's cocked, ready to go. And then always you can release the tension on the uh, hammer and like, sort of let the hammer release forward. On the Colt 25, you can't do that. Um, which, if I take this little piece out, under the normal function of this thing, so you put a magazine here, holds seven rounds, it's a full metal magazine, it's very, very dinky. You put a loaded magazine in the pistol, you wrap the slide, and it will fire seven times. Um, although this pistol doesn't lock back to the rear like a normal gas blowback pistol, when it's empty, of course, this magazine is gassed, it just clicks. Um, so it's a very unique feature, of course. I'm gonna put this little plastic piece back in the feeder just so we can dry fire this thing in just a moment but this thing is very very cool there's not many controls to it either you can pull the hammer back but of course you can't fire it unless the magazine is in um, you've got a little tab here which confused me the first time I messed with it um, I think that is uh, let's push this forward I think it's a little tab in the magazine here not sure if that's a safety I think it is a safety so if it is cocked and that's forward it won't fire but this little lever also acts as a slide catch like that so if you wanted to you could lock that into place before you put the magazine in slot the magazine in and then you can sort of let that down and it lets the slide forward the strip down this on this thing is also very unique so what you want to do is you want to pull the slide to the rear you want to put that tab up so it locks the slide there and then you turn the barrel, pull the barrel forward, so you've turned it 90 degrees clockwise, 
pull the barrel forward, turn it 90 degrees anti-clockwise, and you can pull the whole barrel assembly out. And it's all little encased in one. <laughs> this is crazy. Um, and then, so we pull the tab down, lets the slide forward, and then of course we've got the uh, the guide right here in the spring, the recoil spring. We've got the glass blowback unit, gas blowback unit in there, which is super super tiny and dinky. It's very very cool. Setting this forward. What you need to do is you need to line the rails up together and then you need to make sure this spring guide goes in the relevant hole in the frame. So we just do that now. You need to make sure it clicks into place. Of course, if when you're doing this and it doesn't click into place, you'll notice the guide rod comes out further than it should do. And of course, you can just grab the guide rod and set it into place there. Lock the slide back again. And this is where you'll obviously adjust the hop up as well you've got a little tiny set screw on the top of the barrel assembly there and you can sort of tighten that down obviously clockwise turn it in gives you more hop turn it out gives you less hop um this <laughs> is super dinky it's like tiny but it feels good quality the pistol itself feels good quality as well and putting this back in you slide it in it's normal orientate normal orientation turn it out clockwise 90 degrees it goes even further anti-clockwise 90 degrees and you're in and you can't turn it any further and that is literally all that's holding the, uh, the barrel in there but once firing this thing we've had no issues with it whatsoever gas magazine gas it in the bottom just like any other magazine just like with all gas blowback pistols what i say is when you're getting these new out the box gas gas the magazine itself put the magazine in the pistol either fire it like four or five times, whether you've got rounds in it or you dry fire it, and then gas the magazine again, because that all, always, with WE mags, that first gas fill, you seem to get a bit of trapped uh, atmosphere in there and it sort of blocks up the capacity of the gas magazine so that you want to make sure that's ready to go. I've got the little plastic uh, little piece in here just so I can dry fire this for you. Obviously putting this into the gun, this is super, super small. And your racket, I mean, look, my, Holding the pistol in my hand, my trigger finger is longer than the slide. This thing is super dinky. And you might be thinking, well, what use is that? Because of course it's going to be lower FPS. Um, with something so small and such a small barrel, in my experience over the years, if you said to me, how much will this chrono out? I'd have probably said, ah, 100 to 150 maybe. It's actually quite surprising how much this thing kicks out. Let's dry fire this thing here because <laughs> it's super dinky and small. The iron sights are built into the the sort of the upper slide here and they're so, so small. You're probably not gonna be using them, although for the 10 meter accuracy test, I did try, um, but you're probably gonna be using this at engagements at very, very short distances. So you're just gonna be pointing the thing in someone's direction and pulling the trigger. Even though how small it is, obviously me having big hands, my pinky fingers is doing nothing and it's sitting underneath the pistol. It's actually quite comfortable to hold. Um, if you want something like a Derringer or something like that, but you want more capacity and more usability out of it, this is probably going to be the thing for you. So let's fire this thing here. So you can see I've got a lot of shots out of that. I haven't gassed this since the accuracy test. so. You've only got a seven round magazine, but you can probably fit a few fills of seven rounds before this thing runs out of gas. And obviously we fired it there, so that's simulating there's BBs in the magazine. And of course, when the magazine is empty and you fired the last round, it will just click. So it won't lock back, it will just click, and then you know you've got no more rounds left. So with this, this thing, if you're using it in a game, you probably want to count how many times you've shot it. Scenarios for this thing, um, I've got to say it's probably more orientated to like a Milsim type event or like a humiliation kill. Um, you're not going to be using this in your main walk on day skirmish as your sidearm because it literally, you're going to be, if you're going up against someone that's also down to their sidearm as well, you're going to be well outgunned with this thing. Um, but let's say you're doing a Milsim and there's rules in that Milsim where if you're captured and they don't find something on you, you can use it once captured. Think of the amount of places you can store that thing. And no, get your mind out of the gutter. I don't mean things like that. But the amount of pockets and bits and pieces where this could hide that people probably aren't going to check. Same as when I sort of looked at the Glock 42, 43 series. Um, 
you know, the amount of, the amount of concealment options for this thing are much higher compared to a bigger frame pistol. So I'd probably be carrying this as a, as a I'm going to say this word again, tertiary, like sidearm. So let's see if I've got my own sidearm here somewhere. So I'd be running a primary. I tend to run a sidearm like this, just what I've got to hand, so I'd have that in my holster. So primary, sidearm, and then I'll just have this stowed away somewhere, so if I do get captured and they don't find it, I mean the cell or whatever you have, depending on what game it is, they haven't found this on you. You might have one or two magazines for this thing stored in places that I won't go into. Um, where you can perhaps not fight your way out, but sort of maim and shame some people for not checking you more thoroughly. The other scenario for this is probably if you want to go for that humiliation kill, which is what people who use derringers tend to do. Um, I've seen you on the field, I know what you're doing. Um, so yeah, something like that. Now, I have overskipped in my nerdism the construction of this thing you've got polymer grips on the side panels here and it is a full metal upper and lower uh, build this is very very nicely made let's get to the chrono results now and you just might be surprised So you'll see there from the Corona results, a quite respectable 220 FPS. I think when I was watching Airsoft Mike on his channel, his was about the same, about 220, 225. So a nice little uh, package here, it's putting out more than what I thought it would. Uh, we'll see how this does in the accuracy test. I'm not expecting great results out of it just from a, such a short barrel. But let's get to the 10 minute accuracy test and see how this does. So yeah, not too bad there. Like I said, this is going to be used as a last ditch effort, perhaps in like a milsim or a humiliation kill where 10 meters, I'd probably say, is the maximum distance you want to be using this thing. Um, I was quite surprised at the 10 meters, how well it did shoot, but we are in perfect conditions where I'm able to get a good purchase on the pistol. I'm able to sit there, bam, 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 bang. And, you know, perhaps in a game, you're not going to have that sort of, uh, sort of, comfortability in doing that thing. I'm just pulling words out of my backside now, but uh, could I see one of the <laughs> room in my collection for one of these? Yes, I could, because it's super, super cool. I mean, it's super tiny, it's super cute. Um, <laughs> you almost feel like you've got, to, you've got to operate the thing like that. But uh, this is it's very cool, very, very quirky. Bit gimmicky, yeah, but this is what Airsoft is all about. It's about having fun, and you could very much have a lot of fun with this thing, even if you just want to mess about and shoot your teammates uh, in the back. I don't condone that behaviour, but, uh, you know, if you're mucking around on the field with your mates and you just want to shoot each other, this is going to be absolutely perfect. Um, so this is the WE Colt 25. I hope you've had just as much fun as I have. If you haven't watched Airsoft Mike's video, uh, be sure to go check him out. He's got quite a sizable channel, probably bigger than what I've got. Uh, well, yeah, of course he has. He's much bigger than what I've got. But uh, shout out to him because that's where I saw it first. And hope you've enjoyed this thing. There's this and many other W products on our website right now. You can go check them all out, bespokeairsoft.co.uk. There'll probably be a link in the description as well where you can find it. And we're also on all the social medias, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, all that good stuff. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification if you want to be alert when we do more of these videos because we're going to be doing a lot over the next couple of weeks. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you've enjoyed this and we'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.